hii mada yenye imeletwa kwa floba na speaker na ningependa nianze na mada ya kwanza ya msalia mdavadi kuwekwa the running mate wa William Samoei Ruto in 2027 nikichangia hii ni idea yangu like i'm not representing anyone when talking about uh, the debates on the floor Bwana speaker ningependa watu wajue ya kwamba the moment William Ruto atachukua mtu mwingine kukuwa running mate wake 2027 atakuwa ameanzisha uo kati yake na the mountain Hata kama ataweza kuchukua yeyote ambaye si gachagwa from the mountain kukuwa running mate wake Ningependa niambie hiki kao ya kwamba mountain itagawanyika. Na the moment wa kikuyu watagawanyika wawe into two. Then the mwenye atakuwa kwa Debe na William Samoei Ruto atakuwa na advantage kubwa sana bwana speaker. Mwenye atakuwa kwa Debe na William Samoei Ruto. Juu ya vitu mbili yenye ningependa niongelee bwana speaker. As much as hujaniambia time nachukua dakika ngapi hapa asante uh, Ukiangalia mahali William Samoei Ruto anatoka na mahali Msalia Mdavadi anatoka ni kama region moja tukiangalia hii taifa ya Kenya And the moment kitu kama hiyo itafanyika other regions will, will feel like they are blocked out of the leadership and that is to mean the, she, the, 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 the senior leadership ya hii inti ya Kenya. Maanake ukiangalia deputy na rais ni ngumu sana watoke region moja. Tukiangalia leader, leadership ya Kenya tangu 1963 itakuwa ngumu sana kupata mahali rais na naibu wake wanatoka area moja. Ukiangalia viiga na uasingishu mali William Ruto anatoka zinakaribiana in terms of uh, the, the regions na katiba ya Kenya inaongelea uh, the, the, the leadership ya hii nchi inafai angalia region balance the moment umechukua mluya na neiba wao pale William Samoei Ruto kama rais na naibu na wake balance yenye tunaongelea about the regions will not be depicted and at the same time wajaluo ambao ni jamii mimi natoka what i feel like western region ambao ni waluya wamegang wame up na the rift valley kuingia kwenye uongozi na itapea ita chance the, the, the nyanza region kufanya kazi na watu wa, 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 wa central Kenya bwana speaker and the moment one thing yenye inafaa tujue ni ya kwamba <coughs> hii Kenya tuko na kabila tano kubwa as much as tuko na kabila mingi hii Kenya tano ndo kubwa na hii kabila tano kubwa kuna mbili yenye ikishikana lazima uongozi ipatikane And I'm not going to be tribalistic when discussing this bwana speaker. Ukiangalia sana sana uh, the, the, the formation of the government in the past like five governments utapata ya kwamba ukiongelea mkalenjin mkikuyu mjaluo to an extent they determine where the leadership is going to. Any of these three tribes mbili zikishikana uongozi inapatikana and that is to mean as much as luyas ni wengi hii Kenya and in fact inafaa tujue ya kwamba waluya ni wengi kushinda wajaluo but nikihesabu hizo kabila tatu sijahesabu wa, waluya manake in most cases unapata waluya wanagawanyika So the moment wajaluo watapata a good ground ya kufanya kazi na wakikuyu 
it will be very easy kutoa William Samoei Ruto kwa uongozi. And that is to mean William Ruto cannot make a mistake ya kutoa rigadhi gashagwa kwa uongozi wake na achukue the, 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 the one Musalia Mdavadi. As much as ata mi mwenye naona itakuwa ngumu sana rigadhi gashagwa kufanya kazi na William Samoei Ruto even beyond 2027, but William Ruto will be smart, just like Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta was smart in 2017 Bwana Speaker. 2017 lilikuwa wazi kwa wenye wanajua siyasa ya kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta angefanya kazi na William Samoei Ruto. Lakini alinyenyekea mpaka uchaguzi ikafanyika. The same thing tutaiona in 2027. Ambapo William Samoei Ruto atanyenyekea Aone, watu, watu waone ya kwamba he can work with Rigadi Gashagwa. Na after election, ndo utaona the difference between Rigadi Gashagwa na William Samoy Ruto, if at all, kutakuwa na the differences between those two gentlemen. Nikienda kwa the second debate wana speaker <coughs> uh, about kwa serikali. Is it only Msalia Mdavadi ndo akona akili? Manaki mwenye ameleta hii debate amesema ya kwamba Gashagwa amekuwa akikritik Raila Molo Dinga and the opposition. Lakini the moment Msalia Mdavadi aliongea amenyamaza. Tukiacha siasa kando. Kwa hii serikali ni chukue William Samoy Ruto nichukue msalia mdavadi na rigadhi gashagwa tuwache siasa kando mwenye akosoba in that government is this man msalia mdavadi ni mwenye anajua kuseparate siasa na uongozi na hata tukiangalia uongozi wa msalia mdavadi in government not in politics he is doing pretty well than William Samoy Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. So naeza kubaliana na mwenye ameleta mjada la buwana speaker. Nikisema ya kwamba, in that government, mwenye akosoba ni msalia mdavadi. Anajua ya kwamba tulikuwa na siyasa pale nyuma. Na hii siyasa ilileta mgawanyiko. Na tuko na opposition at the moment. Na as much as tuko na opposition bwana speaker, msalia mdavadi anajua ya kwamba imefika time ambapo watu wanafaa wafanyiwe kazi. Na kufanya kazi kwa serikali haifai kila wakati a whole deputy president akisimama ni Raila Molo Dinga. Akisimama anaongelea uh, opposition. Akisimama ni uhuru mwaigai kenyata na wako na chance ya kufanya kazi. And forgetting that at the moment, wanainchi wa Kenya wako in a very hard economic position. Yenye, they cannot even afford food to their tables when a speaker. So nikimalizia hiyo mada, pia ningependa ni summarize nikisema ya kwamba, msalia mdavadi politics aside, is very sober and can deliver in that government if given chance. Nikienda kwa mada ya tatu about insecurity. Hii mada tumeiongelea hapa before bwana speaker and I want to <coughs> reiterate what I said here before. Insecurity imekuwa ikiongezeka hapa Nairobi ama Kenya kwa jumla but sana sana Nairobi. But one thing yenye inaleta hii insecurity ni the economic or tough times yenye tukonayo. Mtu anaona ya kwamba we cannot sit back and wait for our death yenye inaletua na, na, na njabu wa na speaker. So they resort to the streets kuibia wenye wakonayo. Apart from that wa na speaker, hii ki, 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 kitengo yenye il, il, ilivunjwa na William Samoy Ruto. The flying squad. They are in a, <coughs> they, they, they are in a position ya kuambia serikali ya kwamba they had something to do in this state. Na walikuwa wanaleta 
uh, the, the peace ama walikuwa wanaleta security katika taifa so to an extent you may find them being part of when you want a letter in security just to prove a point to the government that they are really necessary in security matters of this nation apart from that bwana speaker in security imekuwa hii kenya na hii in security tukiangalia from 2022 so from 2002 jinsi uh, the, the, uh, rais aliyekufa uh, Emilio Mwai Kibaki alingangana ku, kuleta security vitu zote yenye alifanya tuhakikisha ya kwamba security iko hii Kenya the previous government na hii government yenye tuko nayo imekeuka zile vitu yenye Emilio Kibaki alileta on board kupigana na insecurity and that is hitting back to us and to the government as a whole ndo maana tunaona hii insecurity bwana speaker ningependa nimalizie hapo na pia singependa kurudi kwa if law kuongea so there is just an announcement i would want to put across bwana speaker like i said yesterday that the office of bunge la mwananchi jakaranda is in place I would also want to repeat for those who are not here yesterday that that office in, is, is in place and you are in safe hands. We are planning to roll out a cabinet by the end of this week latest on Sunday so that we start working for wananchi wa Jakaranda ama bunge la mwananchi ya Jakaranda. I would not want to ask anyone to submit his application for the cabinet positions because we as an office have sat down identified the potential members wenye wanaweza serve e cabinet na tuhakikishe ya kwamba hii bunge la mwananchi imeenda mbele and i can promise you that the cabinet that we are going to unveil probably on sunday is going to be a cabinet yenye inakata cross with men wenye wako na nguvu ya kupeleka hii bunge mbele na ningependa unity iendelee kati yetu as much as we know that there is a, a fraction or part of us wenye wana feel like they need their peace we don't want to disturb their peace but we want to make this appeal to them that unity is paramount and if we want to move forward as a people then we must work together and i'm calling upon them wakuje tufanye kazi pamoja na ile mawazo yenye walikuwa nayo na hii bunge tuendeleze pamoja na hii serikali yenye iko in place asante sana bwana speaker